Well, hello friends, it's Amy Ferlici at the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio, and today I have a super cute little treat holder for you. Oh, actually, spoiler alert, if you are coming to the one day retreat or are getting the retreat in a box, and if you don't wanna see the treat before you come to on Saturday to the retreat or get the box, maybe don't watch this video quite yet. If you're not coming or don't mind the spoil, um, go ahead and take a quick peek at this fun treat that you're going to be receiving at the retreat or in your retreat in a box. So we are using lots of product from the Occasions catalog. This is the Happiness Bloom Suite. We are using the little Bloom by Bloom stamp set that's featured right here. Some of the Happiness Blooms designer series paper right here. And then this is not part of the suite, but I loved how it coordinated the Knight of Navy Gingham ribbon. So let me show you in our occasions catalog so the 2019 the stampin up occasions catalog the awesome i love the bold bright colors on this happiness bloom suite you can see lots and lots of fun projects that you can make with all the products in this suite uh, like i said we are featuring here is the bloom by bloom stamp set these stamps are all actual size as featured in the catalog okay and then love like i said that beautiful bright bold happiness blooms designer series paper there's some coordinating cardstock you can get even some cute little baby punches that coordinate with the stamp set you can get them separately the stamp set and the little baby punches separately or get 10 percent when you get them in the bloom by bloom bundle then there's also a fun dot to dot embossing folder the happiness blooms enamel dots which are carrying over to our next annual catalog and then the calypso coral satin ribbon we're not using all of these products but i think it's really fun for you to be able to see all of the products that come in this suite um, some of these items are retiring, so you're going to want to order them as quickly as you can if you are seeing them um, and don't have them yet. Okay, so don't wait because once these items are on the retiring list, they sell out quickly. And I'm trying to encourage anybody to order what they would like before you can't get it because it's so disappointing, right, when you go to put an order in and you can't get these things. So let's see. I think we're ready to go ahead and get started, okay? I'm going to scoot that stamp set out of the way. We are starting with a piece of this is Knight of Navy cardstock and I'm gonna pop it right here on my um, actually I want to make sure you guys can see there we go I get so excited to make the project I forget to check the view for everybody okay so we have our scoring plate here this is a piece of four inch by six and a half Knight of Navy cardstock and we're gonna score it along this short side at one inch and at three inches and then along the six and a half inch side we're going to score it at two and a quarter inches three and a quarter inches and five and a half inches that's it that's all you do with this simple pretty small piece of cardstock to make this fun little treat box okay we are going to score or excuse me fold along all of our score lines and then we're going to grab our scissors and we are going to cut up along each of these score lines to kind of that intersecting score line to help us make our box. Along the top here, we're actually gonna cut these squares right off. So we're gonna cut in and up on both of those score lines. That's the only one that you do that with is that, oops, excuse me, that little square right there, okay? So we're gonna cut that one off too. And then again, just cut up along these two score marks to that intersecting score mark okay so again hopefully that was in view <laughs> so intent on what i'm doing now the next step we are going to fold these little flaps in and we're going to grab our scallop tag topper punch and then we're going to push this piece right up inside there and press down you have to fold those in otherwise the piece won't go in all the way for you to do your punching. And I will tell you, because I just did this, make sure that you punch that topper before you put your box together. And I'm gonna show you, this is what happens when you forget to do that punch right there. Then there's really no good way to get that piece in there and do the punching. So don't do like I did. Make sure you punch first and then put your box together. So that's what I'm gonna show you this time. <laughs> is how to do it the right way instead of the previous video where I got almost all done and realized, ooh, I did not do that in the right order. Okay, so we're gonna add a little bit of tear and tape right on that little flap and I'll show you why I'm 
strategically putting this tear and tape on those places. I'm gonna, I'll kind of show you how the box folds together and it will make lots of sense. So these are the front flap, kind of on the inside of the flap, but the outside edge of it. Okay, so here's the idea. These little pieces are gonna come up and the back is gonna go together and then with the tear and tape, those are gonna adhere. And then these are gonna fold up and then the tear and tape along that kind of back edge of the front flap will go together there. So there we go, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. I like to press really firmly because it makes it a lot easier to pull the tear and tape off. If you just kind of slap it on there and don't press firmly, it's harder to peel that little tab off. Okay, actually we're gonna make sure both of these go in and then it's almost easiest to do it right on your table or work surface, just have it flat right on there and fold those up to put those together. Now we're gonna peel, should we turn it this way? Peel our tear and tape off. Ooh, maybe I didn't press firmly. Maybe that's my problem. You see what I mean? Press firmly and then it's a lot easier to pull those little strips off because otherwise you're kind of pulling the whole thing of tear and tape, not just that top little cover. And then again, it's easiest to just keep it right on. Then you know it's gonna be really nice and flat and you just fold that in. And I'm gonna kind of put my finger down in there and make sure everything is adhered. Oh, here's the next step. I would probably have adhered this before I put my box together. I remembered that last time <laughs> as featured right here, but then I forgot to do my punching. This is not gonna be that big of a deal. It's probably even about as easy. I don't know, whenever your paper's flat on the on your work surface, I think it's a little bit easier to adhere, but that really wasn't a problem. So either way, put that piece of designer series paper on before you put your box together or after. Ooh, and this piece measures one and three quarter by two inches. That's the little piece of Happiness Blooms designer series paper there, okay? Next step is to grab our love, 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 this uh, Knight of Navy gingham ribbon. We're gonna just kind of thread that through a little hole there, and we're gonna tie a pretty bow. And you just have to make sure, I always keep the ribbon on the bolt so that I make sure I have enough to work with. That way if I don't, I can always kind of untie and pull out a little bit more. If you cut a little strip, you're always kind of working against yourself, I feel like. Um, and never you never have enough. So I'm gonna hold that a little bit tighter. That might help me kind of make that bow there. And it's easiest to kind of lay that right down on your work surface again to tie that bow. And did you see how I did it kind of upside down? It tends to help me get the little tails going the right direction, okay? Then we have just a little bit of simple stamping to do. So I have just a little scrap piece, actually. You know what, no, we're gonna die cut these first. I did find that that was easiest to die cut these with our little circles first. So let's do that. Ooh, I'm gonna scoot those out of the way. We have our die cutting machine here. I'm gonna crank my handle back and I'm gonna put my, this is pineapple punch and whisper white cardstock. We have our, where did they go? Here, they're hiding on me. <laughs> These are the stitched shape framelits and we are using the smallest circle in the stitched shape framelits. And then I have my layering circle framelits and this is the scallop edge, the second smallest scallop edge in the layering circle framelits. So make sure you put the little ridge down. That's what makes the cut for you. Put my other clear cutting piece on top. We're gonna crank our handle. Excuse me for the shaky shakes there. And then we're gonna pull these pieces off. Love how quick and easy it is to die cut these, how they pop right out, right? Okay, scoot that out of the way. We don't need our big shot any longer. Now to do our stamping. So I have just that little white circle. I want to, generally I do my stamping and then my die cutting, but I wanna make sure that everything is gonna fit nicely on my circle. So in this case, I die cut and then I stamped because otherwise I might kind of spread things out too much and you wouldn't see enough of what I wanted you to see um, if you did your stamping first. So 
Okay, Knight of Navy ink, nice easy tap, tap, tap. This is the word enjoy. That is from a stamp set that I forgot to bring over here. So I will, as always, include the details of everything we used um, on this project on the details to the YouTube video. So I'll give you the name of the stamp set as soon as I find it <laughs> with the item code and you'll be able to have that handy. Then we did use the little, the Bloom by Bloom stamp set. We used just that little flower and that little flower. That's all we used um, from that stamp set on kind of the top of this. So let's see, we're gonna start with some pineapple punch ink and I use the same stamp in two different colors of ink. So we're gonna be really careful to Kind of clean things off so we're gonna do that pineapple punch we are gonna grab our little simply chamois just kind of wipe that pineapple punch ink off and then i'm gonna grab my call my call me clover ink and we're gonna stamp this one right there okay then we can actually close those two up. We're done with those. Then I'm going to grab my Knight of Navy ink. ink. <laughs> my tongue is tied today. And again, nice easy tap, tap, tap. And we're going to put some little um, centers on our flowers right there. And that's it. That's all we're going to do for our stamping. It kind of really nicely coordinates um, and complements <clears throat> the designer series paper that we're using. We're just going to put a little bit of adhesive and pop that on there on our little um, pineapple punch scallop edge circle. Now I did find it was easier to add a dimensional right to my box so that I could kind of lay my little sentiment where I want it. And I love, do you see how that stamp coordinates really perfectly? See, I used my, and I love, this is the beauty of Stampin' Up too, right? The Call Me Clover ink that matches the Call Me Clover on our designer series paper and then that Knight of Navy that matches the ink and the paper as well. Last step is to add, I love the little, oh my gosh, so I've sampled a couple of these two ladies, the little Reese's peanut butter eggs. This color is perfect. It's like pineapple punch wrapper. Just pop that little guy in there and that is it. So just a fun little, you could fit anything that you like, you know, any color. Um, treat that you find, I would start with that and then you can kind of build your colors around um, that treat. So that's what I have for you today. I hope you all were inspired today. I hope you enjoyed that cute project. Let me see if I can find, I've got my info. Actually, where did it go? Um, here we go. So all the details will be, like I said, included um, in the link to the YouTube video for all the product codes. There'll be a link to my Stampin' Up! Um, my blog at gatheringinspiration.com and as well my Stampin' Up! website if you're ready to shop for any of the products that we used on this project. If you're ready to do that, make sure you go to my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. On that right-hand side toolbar is a host code that you'll use. It changes every month, that's why I don't give it to you in the videos, depending on when you're watching the video. But grab that host code at gatheringinspiration.com to do your shopping. I always send you a free embellishment when you spend it at least $50 and use the host code. So, I hope you enjoyed that cute treat. I hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you soon. Bye everybody.